Aries, hi and welcome to my channel. So today I'll be doing your upcoming love tarot reading. This will be for December 2020. So let's give these a few shuffles here. And the way I like to do these readings is I will take a look at the shared energy between you both. We're going to take a look at their energy, your energy, and then the near future what is coming towards you. All right, let's give these a few shuffles, Aries, see what's happening for you this December. I'm going to pull one layer out first. Ah, okay, calm down. Nine of Cups and Justice. Um, but yeah, I'm going to pull out one layer first, just to get an idea of the general and dominant energies, and then we'll go in together and clarify. All right, this is for Aries, December 2020. Let's give these two more, see what's happening for you. All right, we are going to stop here. That's the situation, shared energy between you. Let's see what that is. Queen of Pentacles, beautiful. How do they see you? How do they feel about you? What action would they like to take towards you? How do you see them? How do you feel about them? What action would you like to take towards them? And then the near future, what is coming towards you? All right, the things have been rocky. I feel that we'll be able to kind of get a healthier control over our emotions. What's great is the shared energy when it comes to the situation is the Queen of Pentacles. So both of you right now are invested. Invested in nurturing this and taking care of this. We'll go in, we'll understand it better when we clarify. But this is a very nurturing, invested energy. With the Queen of Pentacles, I always think of like devoted. I always think of like treasuring this. So it's really beautiful energy. The way they see you is the Ten of Wands. So this is like, maybe you have a lot of responsibilities, right? Maybe you're carrying a lot of weight, but they see like this heaviness when it comes to you. Again, you could just be having a lot of responsibilities. Now, the way they're feeling when it comes to this, <sighs> something there could have been like a past heartbreak here, but this is rest and recovery. It's like emotionally, they need, they need to regain their strength here. It's like their heart's been put through the ringer for whatever reason. Uh, but yeah, this is a card of rest and recovery of taking some space here and giving yourself some space. It's a card about regaining our strength as well. So something here I feel like maybe ha may have tested our spirits, may have tested this relationship recently, and now we're trying to recover. We're definitely trying to recover here. Now the action they would like to take towards you is this beautiful Four of Wands. This is, of course, like a marriage card, um, but it's a card about saying like, hey, Let's try to make some hard work pay off if it didn't already pay off. Let's build some secure foundation here. I want to have this. If you have been working a lot, this is the action they would like to take. It's like, hey, let's put everything down for a moment and just like hang out. Let's just relax for a moment. This is a card that says like put all the work aside. It's time to celebrate. We've done a lot of work here. It's in a card of marriage as well. So we'll go in and clarify. The way you see them is the fool. I don't know if you want to take a leap of faith here, if you see them as having unlimited possibilities and potential with this person. I don't know if they're very adventurous, you know, if this is a person who takes a lot of risks, um, but we will go in and clarify. The way you're feeling, I mean, you got your energy here with the Emperor. You want to conquer. That's what the Emperor does. Yeah, they use all their skills, you know, their rules and their authority, but it's all to conquer and to maintain order. It's all to conquer and to maintain order here. But the action you would like to take here is death. Rebirth, that's what death really is. Um, you know, death is not really about death, it's about rebirth. Um, and so, but it's, it's about major changes, transformational changes. We'll go in and clarify. Coming towards you both is this beautiful King of Cups energy. There's a lot of love here. This is mastery of our emotions, being really empathetic and having the ability to put ourselves in each other's shoes. It's a really great energy here. Um, really great energy. All right, let's go ahead and clarify the situation with this Queen of Pentacles. That very nurturing, committed, and invested energy that both of you are having when it comes to this partnership. But yeah, I feel, you know, in the past there must have been something really heavy, really heavy. Um, and I, I know that presently we're still going through it, but I don't think it's as heavy as it was before. All right, let's take that. Six of Cups is at the bottom. Knight of Wands is here. Lots of characters, huh? Lots of characters. Four of Pentacles. All right. Six of Cups is at the bottom. It's that soulmate energy. It's a lot of like compassion, a lot of generosity. There's a lot of love, sweet energy from that card. 
And it's like this underlying energy. So maybe you guys are missing each other. Maybe there's some nostalgia here. But yeah, I mean, there is a lot of committed, dedicated energy. Let me say that. But there's a bit of an impulsive energy here as well. You know, with that Knight of Wands, this is like an act first, think later. It's just being really excited, really passionate, you know. Um, but I feel like it can go a little extreme sometimes. And then you have the Four of Pentacles here. So I just feel like there's also this kind of like protecting, guarding ourselves. Um, maybe not trying, like, you know, maybe both of you are like wanting to like impulsively do something or act and both of you are maintaining some self-control here. <laughs> like, it's kind of what it feels like. It's like both of you are like excited. There's something that you want to just like act on really quick, but like there's also this level of like, nope, control ourselves. <laughs> so it's really interesting, but there's a very committed, dedicated energy that is shared between the both of you. Um, tell us more about this. Ten of Wands. Yeah, I feel like we're just like self-control here. Like, all right, let me calm down. Even though I want to run and jump, let me, whew, let me control myself. All right, tell me about this Ten of Wands. But like one card is like really fired up. The other one's like so reserved and controlled. <laughs> all right, tell me about this Ten of Wands for how they see you. All right. Two more. We're gonna stop here. Yeah, and some of you could really be working really hard. Let me say that. Um, yeah, okay, we have the Eight of Pentacles at the bottom. Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Wands, and the King of Swords. You know, there could be something that like, it's how they see you first. But there could be something that you're really wanting to manifest and to create and to bring into reality here. And you might just be really hard on yourself when it comes to that. Or that could just be really stressing you out. And it's just the way they're seeing you. But with that King of Swords, this is you like ready to cut out stuff, ready to have strategy. If something's feeling heavy and weighing you down, they see you like, all right, well, I'm going to just cut that down. It's not serving me. It's not good for me. Very logical, strategic, intellectual, sharp, using your experience here. But there is something here that like, or they see you as this new reality with this Ace of Pentacles. They're like, oh, look at Aries. So much potential, because you do see them as a lot of potential here too. Let me mention that. Um, and like I said, there is a feeling of like excitement, like I want to run. Um, but yeah, there's like, hey, I think we could build something new. I think we can create something new. We can manifest. There's this new reality that you're seeing or that they're seeing with you, that they can have with you. The way they're feeling though, they do need some rest and recovery. We do have that four of swords. So it's just like, taking some time and space here. Tell us about the sword swords for how they're feeling when it comes to this partnership. Um, I mean, the action they want to take is this marriage card. So, no. All right, two more. Let's clarify the sword swords. Sun is at the bottom for how they feel. Nine of swords, eight of pentacles. Yeah, I mean, there was, again, I feel like in the recent past, you guys know your situation better, but obviously something really hurt this connection. I don't know what happened. You know, every story is a little different from each, but they're a little stressed out right now, and that's why they're needing a break. But how do they feel? They want to put in the work. They're dead. This is very grounded, dedicated, committed energy. There's a lot of pentacles here. So it's just like very real rooted energy. This is like saying, hey, I want to have something real here. Eight of Pentacles is also with this card and with how they're feeling. They're willing to make sacrifices, small, short-term sacrifices for long-term goals. This is dedicated. This is one of the most hardworking energies. So that's what they're feeling. They're like, I'm ready to put in all the work. I'm ready to fine-tune these details. I'm ready to get this right. I'm ready to perfect this. This is what I'm ready to do after I regain my strength. So I feel like, yeah, because of all the stress, they've been put in this place where they need a break now. And then once they come out, what are they ready to do? They're ready to work on this. Work on this. All right. The action they would like to take towards you is this beautiful four of wands. So much harmony. My 11-11 card. So in the sun, I see it again. Tell me more about this four of wands. For what action they would like to take towards you. What's this about? All right. We're going to stop here. Let's see. Page of Cups, Six of Wands, yeah. They may want to send you a sweet message here. 
you know, this is them saying, hey, I wanna have all of this with you. I wanna have this foundation. I wanna have the security with you. You know, they're ready to be victorious and to overcome any past troubles here. This is the action they would like to take. Overcome this, be triumphant. And what is it? They want this foundation with you. They wanna open their heart to you. It's a very open and trusting energy, unbiased. Innocent, playful, beautiful. <laughs> They want to open their hearts, maybe open their homes. <laughs> but yeah, there's something that they really want to have with you. And they're, they're ready to feel confident. They're feeling proud. Like, they're ready to be victorious over this. All right, the way you're seeing it is this beautiful full energy. Unlimited possibilities. Unlimited possibilities. Tell me about the fool. For how you are seeing them. What's this fool about? <clears throat> they see you as a shiny ace of pentacles. Shiny coin. <clears throat> All right, let's do two more. No. All right, and then we're gonna stop here. Queen of Cups is at the bottom. Three of Swords and Queen of Wands. Yeah, I mean, <sighs> unlimited possibilities, but like you're also like, <sighs> there was heartbreak here. There was some serious heartbreak here. Maybe you felt like they were foolish. Maybe you felt like they were naive. Maybe you felt like they did things and they did not think of consequences. You know, all kinds of things tied to the fool. Because they could be naive, absolutely. But it's also very adventurous and it's a lot of fun. It's a person who has a lot of trust and faith in the universe. So it's like two sides of one coin. But yeah, I mean, <clears throat> you know that there's a painful past here, but it's also like, I think you're starting to see them do some growth here. Let me say that because we go from the fool and then we have this queen of wands who... As you can see by the black cat there, it indicates that she has a very healthy relationship to her shadow side, to her spiritual side. But yeah, there was some heartbreak here. And I feel like when you look at them, you still see that. You still see that. You, you, I think you see more. I think there was a time where maybe this was all you saw. But I feel like now we're starting to see more. And you know, the Three of Swords is here, so I just feel like, yeah, we're needing some recovery. The Four of Swords is here. All right, tell us about this Emperor, for how you're feeling. This is you stepping into your own energy, saying, I'm ready to overcome this. I'm ready to conquer this. I'm ready to have this. Tell me. It's making you feel like an authority. It's got you serious here. You're like, okay, what do we need? We need rules and we need structure. That's how you feel. You feel like the Emperor. Not You're not trying to be vulnerable right now. You got on a suit of armor in your emotional space. If you look for the water on this card, it's so hard to find. So you're deep feeling, but I feel like right now, you're at this place where like, hey, I'm not about to be vulnerable. So respect me, respect the rules, respect the structure, respect the order, or pay the price. Or pay the price. Tell me about, wait, wrong card. What's this emperor for how you're feeling? Again, I feel like you're like, we're going to have to have new structure, new rules here. If you're considering, and there was some past pain like this, you're definitely in this place of like, we're going to do this my way. And we're going to do it the right way. All right, tell me about the emperor. It's a card of conquering, conquering. What we have, the moon, eight of cups, ace of cups, nine of wands. Wow. Let's just tell me more about the emperor. Yeah, you're conquering. Oof. You're in battle gear. You're not about to be vulnerable emotionally. Let me see. Two more. All right, we're going to stop here. Clarify this emperor for how you're feeling. Death. The hangman. Wow. Major. You've changed. You've changed. Things, things if it, uh, you'll know if you're trying to come back together here. I feel like there is, obviously, you know, you're here for this reading. So something's being considered here or hasn't been fully decided. So. Death and the hanged man and the emperor. It's like you're feeling like the way you felt changed. You've changed, Aries. Whoa. You know, the hanged man, you may have felt stuck for some time. You maybe didn't know. You may have had to surrender. But in that space of like where you couldn't move and you're like, oh my God, I don't know what to do. You gained enlightenment into the situation, into yourself. Something changed. Your whole perspective changed. The way you were feeling, the whole perspective changed. I feel like you see more than you've seen in the past. And because of that, you're like, I gotta step into this emperor energy. I gotta have this structure, I gotta have this rules, I gotta manage this a little bit better. 
I gotta step into a more authority place so nobody crosses lines they should not be crossing. And it sucks, but like, we have to step into that sometimes. You know, you wanna feel free. Like I said, even with this card, it was like, oh, I'm gotta control myself a little bit. Um, but yeah, you've changed. You've changed fundamentally here. However you fell here underwent some major transformation. You may have let go of old ways that are not serving you anymore emotionally. And that's why you're like, done with that. I'm sitting in my stone throne. Stone throne. That's where you're at. Um, the action that you would like to take towards on is death. Major transformation. Maybe rebirth. Death can definitely be an ending. If it's not an ending, it's certainly the end of the way things were. That's done. We could undoubtedly say that when it comes to a situation. Tell me about death. For the action you would like to take this month. What's we'll that about for Aries? Yeah, you changed. Like, whoa, the way you're feeling. All right. Two more. All right, we're going to stop here to clarify death. Ten of Cups is here at the bottom. The Fool is here. Page of Swords is here. Whoa. Yeah, I mean, you're trying to figure out. I see you trying to just figure. It's like, man, you want to take a leap of faith, but not until you got this Page of Swords energy. You got this Page of Swords energy. This is something you need to learn, something still you feel like you need to know, some kind of situation here that you're still trying to cut to the heart of the matter. Trying to get to the root of it. And so, but you, you, I mean, whoa, you want to take a chance here. You want to take the leap of faith here. But it, I, I have to be honest, I feel like right now it can go either way. Like you take a chance to be like, bye. But I don't feel that. It's like you want to take a chance for a rebirth here, it almost feels like. It's like breathing life back into something. It's kind of what it feels like. Literally, we have death here, so I feel like breathing life back into it. Coming towards you, we have this beautiful King of Cups energy. Um, all right, what's this King of Cups sound? It was a very emotionally mature, lots of love, lots of love. Also having like the ability to just really like master our emotions, to not let our emotions get the best of us, nothing like that, like really mature. Tell me about the King of Cups coming towards you, Aries. Let me see. What's this King of Cups about? When it comes to this partnership. Wow. Oh, wow. Nine of Cups. Ace of Wands, you guys. Oh, my God. What else? Six of Pentacles. Wow. Happiness. Wish come true. Emotional stability. Balance. Wow. This is going to feel like a wish come true. That's, like, not what I was expecting. Coming towards you, I cannot make it up. We got one of the happiest cards. We have the Nine of Cups, we have the King of Cups, and the Six of Pentacles. Balance, restored, happiness coming through here for you guys. It's like a wish come true. Wow, this is, you know, of course, end of month. I will be posting some weekly readings as well. But yeah, this is like, whatever's coming through is gonna make you feel so happy and emotionally balanced here. Like there's so much balance, both emotionally within ourselves and within this partnership that's coming through. Really beautiful energy, and I love to see the King of Cups because I feel like we're starting to open up our hearts more. Okay, uh, I'm going to leave it there for you, Aries. I do hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, please like and subscribe. Thank you for letting me tune into your energies, and I'll see you all next week.